Dom Savis here with Nathan Hollerbach. We're here at day three of the Eurex Match Cup, but before we roll into the action, let's have a look at the previous two days. Nathan, tell us about day one. Day one, beautiful day, perfect day on the Chicago waterfront. Uh, Eurex Match Cup, first annual. They did a fantastic job, what more can I say? Other than it was completely, almost completely dominated by Taylor Canfield. And that, I guess, ran into the second day. What do you think? Well, what about our, our friends from Eurex on day one? How did they do? Well, they did a fantastic job. They threw a beautiful party. We had a lot of VIPs down here. There was some great food, great booze, some great music. Just had a fantastic time. And, and everybody really enjoyed the sailing down here. So That's great. Well, day two was a, a little more interesting. We had some challenges. Certainly. Challenges from the weather, right? The lighter air, the spectator chop from a beautiful Saturday on Chicago waterfront. Uh, that was a challenge for the competitors. Sometimes they read the wrong mark. Uh, and sometimes for the umpires, they made some wrong calls, like Guy Mossman, unfortunately, with that spinnaker incident. Uh, and yet, I think everybody still did a great job, and they're rolling into the final day. Absolutely. Here's action from the 2011 Eurex Match Cup. This is actually a resale of a previous race where the wind died and shifted a little too much. This is Steve Lowry being led around the course right now by, by Jordan Reese, the young team from Australia. Jordan actually off of the line got a penalty onto Steve Lowry. So Steve Lowry holding a penalty. If he wins this race, he would have a share of the lead but a lot on as Jordan Reese, Orange Spinnaker up and pulling Steve Lowry, penalty on and behind, tries to jive on the inside. A lot on here for the boys and just not a lot going on here, nothing doing down the pipe here. Blue flag coming, Jordan Reese, Jordan Reese with the win over Steve Lowry before the semifinal action. Taylor Canfield, excellent matches here. First to two points, Taylor Canfield winning the first one, very, very close. Don Wilson winning the start of the second race, but getting a little close up the beat, messing up attack. Taylor taking over control of that race and able to pull it off with a victory here. First two quick points by Taylor Canfield, two quick wins, and he moves on to win the first annual 2011 Eurex Match Cup. Cup uh, here in Chicago and it was a fantastic event. On Friday we had um, Eurex out having a big corporate party and watching us while we managed to complete an entire round robin in the first day and ultimately in the event we managed to get three full round robins in which is a complete record for Chicago Match Race Center in addition to semis, a consolation round and then finals. The racing was really close and hard to know up until the very last moment who was going to win. There were a lot of close matches and there was a lot of excitement going on here in Chicago. You should have been here.